Have you ever checked your blood sugar the moment you wake up and the number on the screen actually scares you? You went to bed feeling proud. You didn't snack. You didn't eat carbs late at night. You slept for eight hours. So how is your blood sugar higher now than when you went to bed? Most people assume I must have done something wrong. So they skip breakfast. They delay food. They fast longer. Then they check again a few hours later and the number is the same or even worse. Here's the truth most people never hear. This has nothing to do with food. This is a liver problem. While you're sleeping, your liver is in charge of regulating blood sugar. Its job is to gently release glucose to keep your brain alive. But when the liver becomes insulin resistant, it loses that regulation. Think of insulin like a messenger. When blood sugar rises, insulin knocks on the liver's door and says, hey, we've got enough glucose you can stop releasing it now. In an insulin sensitive liver, the message gets through, glucose release slows, blood sugar stabilizes. But in an insulin resistant liver, the door never opens. The liver keeps pumping out glucose all night long, even though you're not eating, even though you're fasting, even though you're doing everything right. That nonstop glucose production has a name, gluconeogenesis and it's the main driver of stubborn, high fasting blood sugar. Now, here's the part almost no one tells you. The biggest cause of liver insulin resistance is not sugar. It's fat trapped inside liver cells called intrahepatocellular fat. That fat blocks insulin's signal. So the liver stays stuck in panic mode, dumping glucose into your bloodstream every single morning. The solution? lower your dietary fat and eat whole fiber rich plant foods. That way the liver starts to clear out as liver fat drops, insulin starts working again. Overnight glucose output comes down and morning numbers finally begin to move. So if mornings are your biggest frustration, the solution isn't skipping breakfast. It's restoring insulin sensitivity where the problem actually lives. We've put together a free guide that shows you the exact framework we use to calm the liver, reduce insulin resistance, and finally bring fasting blood sugar down sustainably. Comment guide and we'll send it straight to you.